Hello everyone, welcome to this video on dimension tables. In the prior three videos, we have covered what is data warehousing, what is data warehouse architecture, and what is ETI. In this video, we will cover what are dimension tables. So let's get started, guys. Dimension tables in the terms of data warehousing are those tables which contains attributes that describe the entity. Let's take an example of a customer table. All the information which is stored in the customer table like customer name, customer address, customer age are those attributes which describes that customer. All those tables which contains the attribute that describe a certain entity are called dimension tables. Now dimension tables contain dimension keys which helps to identify different dimension or a different attribute, values and the attributes of that dimension. For example, customer name, employee name, product name. Dimension tables are also sometimes called lookup or reference tables because these dimension tables are looked up with the fact tables to generate a value for that measure that we are going to analyze. For example, if I want to know which region in India has produced most sports athletes, which uh, region in a particular state or a country our products ship most. All the details about those attributes, about which region, what is the details of that region, all the information gets picked up or looked up from the dimension tables. Dimension tables are typically small as compared to the fact table because fact table record every transaction. And in, dimen in dimension table, we record a reference data which will help us to identify or to map to that particular uh, fact transaction as to who has actually done that transaction and what was their attribute. So dimension tables are small as compared to the fact table. In some of the organizations which are huge, for example, the credit card companies or the bank institutions where the customer base is huge, in that case the dimension table can also be huge. For example, a credit card company like Visa, they have a lot of customers where which are using the Visa card. So they customer base is huge hence they'll have big dimension tables dimension tables are often highly denormalized we do not create a normalized version of dimension table because this structure allows to retrieve the query results from the dimension tables quickly because the main reason we are creating a dimensional model or a data warehouse model is to basically analyze the data we have and help the business to take the decisions out of that data so we keep generally those dimension tables in a highly denormalized form so as i mentioned earlier that dimension tables does not hold the transaction data so we can say that dimension tables are non-transaction tables which contain the information about the attributes so let's take an example of dimension tables in the screen you can see this is a star schema we'll get into the star schema details in the upcoming videos but let's consider uh, the tables which are not highlighted in blue so if you can see in the left you can see a dimension date table and on the right you can see dimension store and dimension product let's take example of a product table if you see it contains product name brand product category and it can have different information like product price so this information we generally do not change too much and which is not a part of transaction because in transaction we will not store every detail about the product so whenever we want to retrieve the information about a particular transaction we can join it with the fact table or a transactional table and get the data from the dimension product dimension table. Similarly, we have a store dimension table which contains the store number, store IDs, and information about store as to where it is located. And we have a date dimension. Date dimension is a very important dimension in every data warehouse. So what it contains is it contains a pre-calculated values for a date. For example, in date, what what is the day number? What is the month number? What is the quarter? What is the name of the month? What is the day of the week for a particular date? So we pre-calculate it for a defined period so that when we join, we don't have to calculate on a particular runtime. So this completes the information about dimension tables. I hope you like this video. In the next video, we will cover what are the various types of dimensions we have. Thank you.